In this video, I'll answer the questions, what is a WordPress XSS attack, how to find and fix XSS vulnerabilities, and how to prevent an XSS attack in the future. Don't worry, I'll take you through everything step by step, and by the end of this video, you'll never have to worry about this attack ever again. Firstly, let me welcome you here. My name is Julian, and this channel will help you fix common WordPress issues and also help improve your site performance. So, if you're a website owner or manager, hit that subscribe button and bell icon for weekly helpful videos from WordPress experts. All right, let's start the video. Chapter 1. What is an XSS attack? XSS attack is a short form for a cross-scripting hack. In this type of attack, hackers use the visitor's browser to attack your website. Once they gain access to your website, they can steal sensitive information, store illegal files and folders, redirect your visitors to other malicious sites, manipulate search results with spammy keywords, launch attacks on other websites, among other things. How does this work? Basically, the hacker injects malicious JavaScript code into your website. When your site gets a visitor, that malicious code gets activated and is executed by the browser, allowing the hacker to steal your visitor's personal information. For example, imagine you have a WordPress blog and you want to allow readers to post comments under articles. So, you install a plugin to manage comments. Now, when a reader wants to post a comment, they type it into the text field which has been provided by the plugin. Anyone can type up their comment and send it to the website database. So far so good. The problem appears when someone who is not so nice adds a comment but adds a script to it as well. The plugin doesn't check the comments for these scripts, assuming that it is all text and sends it to the website database. Congratulations, you now have an XSS vulnerability. Now, let me show you how this will harm your site visitors. Let's say another visitor comes to this blog and their browser loads the page and comments. The website database had previously saved all the comments, so it sends them to the browser for the new visitor to see them. But because there is that malicious JavaScript in one of the comments, the browser automatically executes that piece of code, assuming it's part of the website. Boom! Now the hacker has access to your visitor's personal information. This is called an XSS attack. There are three main types of XSS attacks. Stored XSS attacks, reflected XSS attacks, and DOM-based XSS attacks. If you want to know more about these different types, check the description of the video for a link to a great article about it. Now, an XSS attack can cause damage in a number of different ways, such as the hacker can access your visitor's private data and take over their account. The hacker can send them to another website or show them spam content. The hacker can even target your site visitors with a social engineering attack like phishing. XSS attacks are not limited to just your visitors. They can target website admins as well and add different kinds of malware to your site. But don't worry, in the next chapters, I'll show you how to find, fix and prevent XSS attacks. Chapter 2. How to fix XSS vulnerabilities First of all, XSS vulnerabilities exist in code, either WordPress core or that of plugins and themes. The only real way you can check if your WordPress website is susceptible to XSS attacks is to use a scanner like XSS Hunter or hire the services of a penetration tester. Secondly, you can protect your website visitors from potential XSS vulnerabilities by installing a WordPress firewall, which will keep out the attacks. Thirdly, you need to keep a tab on the installed plugins and themes for XSS vulnerabilities so you can quickly update them. Now, for point number two and three, we recommend downloading Malcare. It has the best free WordPress firewall and also has free malware scanner and vulnerability scanner. So, instead of having to keep a manual tab on installed plugins and themes, you can rely on Malcare to automatically scan your site every day. Whenever a vulnerable plugin or theme is discovered, you can then easily update it from the Malcare dashboard. I'll leave a link in description for a Malcare free trial. Chapter 3 how to prevent XSS attacks. In this chapter, we will cover the main steps to protect your site visitors from XSS attacks in the future. Number one, install a web application firewall. Firewalls are your best defense in the face of a constantly evolving threat. Firewalls have special rules which look for requests that can contain suspicious text typically found in XSS attacks. As we discussed in the previous section, we recommend Malcare for this because it has the best free WordPress firewall. Number two, install Prevent XSS Vulnerability plugin. We recommend installing the Prevent XSS Vulnerability plugin to block parameters commonly found in XSS attacks. For instance, if you know that hackers use symbols like exclamation marks, opening round packets, etc. when they add a malicious link to your comment section, then you can add these parameters in the plugin and it will help prevent cross-site scripting attacks on your WordPress website. That being said, the plugin can provide only limited protection against XSS. A firewall plays a crucial role in preventing and detecting XSS attacks Early on. This is why we recommend using this plugin in addition to a security plugin. Number three, 
Update all plugins and themes. WordPress security vulnerabilities are discovered in plugins and themes all the time. Responsible developers release security patches for them so that the websites are not at risk. Once the patches are available, the people who discover the vulnerabilities release the news. Therefore, websites that have not updated their plugins and themes become targets for hackers. Number four, install WordPress security plugin. XSS attacks are really dangerous for website owners. If the targeted user is an admin, XSS can be used to get login credentials and then infect the website with malware. A good security plugin will help you monitor users for unusual activity and the daily scans will pinpoint malware very quickly. I'll link a video above comparing the top four security plugins so you can see why we recommend Malcare as a clear winner here. Number five, implement WordPress hardening. WordPress hardening is a series of steps that you can take to make your WordPress site more secure in general. Of these, we specially recommend two-factor authentication. The biggest danger of XSS attacks is the theft of login credentials and identities. So two-factor authentication goes a long way in preventing stolen credentials from being used to access your site. Other heartening steps like disabling XML RPC are also good to implement. I'll add an article in the description with some of the main WordPress hardening tips, so go check that out. Number six, follow least privileged user policy. If a user's account is compromised because of an XSS attack, the damage they can potentially do is limited by the permissions on the website. So give each user the least number of permissions that they need to fulfill their particular role. Number seven, buy plugins from trusted marketplaces. If you're using free plugins like Jetpack and Discus, it's best to download them from the official WordPress repository. If you're going to use premium plugins like Thrive Comments or WP DevArt, get them from their official website or trusted marketplaces like Code Canyon, Theme Forest, Envato, etc. Trusted marketplaces offer high quality plugins that reduce the chances of cross scripting vulnerabilities and preloaded malware from entering your site. If this video has been helpful, please hit that subscribe button and bell icon for more helpful videos from WordPress experts. If you manage websites regularly, it's only a matter of time before you have to deal with common hacks like a redirect hack, a pharma hack, SQL injection, Viagra hack or something else. So click on the link above for a full playlist about how to remove each hack and fix your site afterwards. You can save this playlist so that the next time you deal with any of these hacks, you can quickly sort things out. Lastly, if you're still stuck somewhere, please comment below and I'll help you out. That's all for today. This is Julian, your friendly neighborhood geek, and I'll see you again next week.